Hello YouTube, this is a Twisted Curl and today I'm going to mix Brahmi. We'll mix Brahmi in my hair with Alma or Alma, okay? These are herbal treatments that people use, especially in the Middle East and Indian areas, okay? So it's been around forever, so I want to see how it does my afro textured hair. And the results will be in a little while, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so this is my hair. Um, I had so much hair product in my hair during the week that... Um, I decided to rinse my hair, not shampoo, but rinse my hair to get the extra conditioners or pomades or whatever and 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 things out on my hair. So this is my naked hair rinsed out. I did not shampoo my hair. So this is it. And this is the before shot. This is how long the back of my hair is hanging. And this is the hair from the top of my ear all the way down here. This is the top. Bang. Okay, this is the front. I'll call this like the fringe area. This is my hair wet. Mind you, there is some shrinkage going on here, but this is the fringe on the other side. Okay. And I have discovered that the hair on my right side does grow longer than the hair on my left side. Okay, this is the hair on top of my head here. You guys can see it. Okay, and this is like midway back past my fringe of my hair. So that's just my hair wet. This is the mixture. I mix um, the like three tablespoons of amla with five tablespoons of the brahmi okay and i'm going to apply it to my head back guys and this is a mess look at my white 
bathroom. But luckily it's just plant, you know, and it's not going to stain or whatever like normally, you know, it was like dirt. Everything was like dirt when you do these um, herbal treatments to your hair. Um, I got the cap on. I'm going to sit here um, for about 15-20 minutes like it says on the package and then I'm going to rinse my hair off. And then I'm going to shampoo my hair. I'm going to use the Aussies Moist. I love the way this smells. Oh my goodness. Um, I got it at Target. I always look for the biggest bottle I can find of the Aussie. And I have the Aussie Moist Conditioner. Oh, it smells so good. So the shampoo has the purple spout and the conditioner has the white spout. So I'm going to be using those. Um, I'm going to use the conditioner to detangle my hair with and after I do that then I'm going to use my leave-in conditioner which is the Kimmy Mae 2 leave-in. This time I have a treat. I'm trying different oils like she recommended on her video and it was to use the oils as best work for your hair. Now the castor oil as we know is wonderful but I'm going to do something a tad bit better. I'm going to do the um, Jamaican black castor oil which I have smelled with. It's a very distinctive little scent to it. It's not overpowering so I'm going to use that for um, my Kimmy May tube but I'm also I'm um, going to use something else and that is I'm not using the Kinky Curly Knot today. If you go to Miss V Charles, I love her, she's so quirky. Um, she use, shows how you can mix both of the infamous uh, leave-in conditioner with the Kinky Curly Knot today and you can use the um, more loose Oh my god, I forgot that quick. Um, the Giovanni uh, Direct Leave-In Conditioner. Both, again, are silicone free. And you want to use that for our hair. Now, I'll be back in a little bit. Hi guys, the Twisted Curl. And this is my review of the Amla and the Brahmi Mix. Not a treat. At the end, I did not like the results of my hair. This is the next day. I took the twist out like I normally do because I don't put um, a styler in my hair and I don't put like a gel or anything in my hair. I just do the wash and then I use my Kimmy Make Two uh, Curl Leave In. I don't like you calling it curl. Uh, leave In and that's it. Twist my hair, let it air dry overnight. I'm overnight and I'm done. The problem is when I rinsed out the Amla, um, not a treat. My hair, like look at my hair right now, it is completely drawn up. It doesn't look like my hair is hitting my shoulders like it normally is. I'm, I really have to stretch out my hair to see the length of my hair and um, I've been told through the websites and different um, YouTubers, you know, out there, um, you mix Amla with your henna and it would prevent the loosening of your curl. I was getting used to the loosening of my curls, so I'm a little bit disturbed. And I got used to it. The, uh, I think I used henna about a half a dozen times since last May possibly um, and I learned how to deal with the loosening of my curls my curl definition came out very nice and without putting in chemicals in my hair it was very easy to detangle uh, when I put the amla in my hair became very difficult to detangle and I'm very upset with that because that to me was the biggest part of washing my hair was detangling my hair and when I rinsed out the, am the Amla with the Vrami Mix it just made my hair very difficult to detangle so I'm very upset with that. Uh, 
Um, I do know that Amla is good for the skin, so I purchased about 200 grams of that stuff. This is the other cl clicker. I only use two tablespoons versus half the box of the brownie. And that little bit drew my hair back in. So I don't like the feel of it. It does feel thicker, which I appreciate because the henna made it feel like my hair was thinning out. But it wasn't thin. It's hard to describe. I guess the texture of the hair felt finer, so to speak. Even though I have a lot of hair on my head, my hair felt finer. Um, and now my hair feels very full and thick. And that's what they say will happen. Also, I've been using the Grow Out um, Hair Growth Oil as well. So that also thickens your hair. So maybe I'll just have too many things going on with my head for the past two weeks. And that's why it feels so thick and full. And which is nice. But the tightening of my curl pattern, I was not expecting. Uh, so... I will take care of that next month with my henna treatment and I might decide to put a little bit of cinnamon in that treatment to brighten up the redness in um, the treatment. So tonight I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, my Cantu Shea Butter uh, Leave-In. I'm going to use this so it will soften my hair and I usually twist my hair up for my second day hair. I usually do that. And um, with a little bit of the Curls uh, Botanical Gel because it's very loose, it's not heavy, it's light. So I'll be using that tonight and see how um, the results come out. Because I love my twist outs. And then use I just grab random pieces of hair, put it in, use my um, denim brush and twist my hair back in, you know, to pull it back up. Or whatever so right now those are my results of or my comments done with my um, Amla and Brahmi treatment guys give me some hits some comments some rates some suggestions on what can I do maybe I can use the Amla again maybe once every three months I don't know in case my hair gets too loose because I don't want to lose the integrity of my curls Okay, so ah, it's a twisted curl. I'll check you later.